custom brush is a user created brushes in Photoshop which can be customized and saved and even shared with other artists. We can create our own custom brush by making a mark on the canvas on a new layer. We can control click that layer thumbnail and then go to edit to find brush preset and we now have our very own custom brush. This will also be a preset that we can use in our eraser and smudge tool. And we can also modify it in the brush settings. Now let's look at selecting brushes. We can select brushes in a variety of ways in Photoshop. We can select the brush tool, right click on the canvas and we'll have this pop up menu. There's also a sub menu where we can load up the pre-installed brushes or even load our own brush sets. We've also got the brush preset menu and also our tool presets palette. We can create an action to select a brush on the fly. So we make a new action, give it an appropriate name and a hotkey. Record, choose the brush and then stop. You now have a hotkey which will select the brush that you've chosen. Let's look at saving brushes. So I've made a brush, modified it to my liking. And now in the sub menu for brush, we can make a new brush preset and give it a name. You can also hold Alt in the preset manager and you'll be able to delete the original so that you have the new brush there. You can also save it as a tool preset in the tool preset sub menu. You can also save your entire brush set in the sub menu for the brush presets as well as saving your tool presets. Now let's look at organizing our brush sets. It can often be a difficult task keeping everything organized in Photoshop especially if you have a large collection of brushes so we can look at how to create some tags. So just typing in a new layer and then define a brush preset. And now in our preset manager, we now have that tag. And we can drag it to be the appropriate label for our brush sets. And using the preset manager, we can also drag the different categories around. So you can see that I've divided it by adding the equals and our minus signs to the sides. The hard round brush will achieve pretty much everything you'll need to do. If you want to keep everything basic, and especially when you're starting out, I would suggest just use the hard round brush. Since you can change the hardness, the roundness, and a variety of other options in the brush settings. And playing up the hardness and the softness will give much uh, variety and make 
at a more interesting piece. If you're looking for where the hard round brush is, it's in the basic brushes set. Now how do we go about the right brush for the job? It really comes down to the material that we're trying to convey. So if you're painting a rough material, go with a brush that has a rough edge. Painting a soft material, try maybe a soft and hard round brush with the hardness to 0%. But this will really come down to practice in studies and being able to understand the different qualities of materials. So we're not limited to just using the brush for painting in Photoshop. We can also use it in combination with the eraser tool, dodge and burn, the smudge tool as well as the mixer brush and CS5. We can also paint within a selection using the marquee tool or the selection tool. And really it'll come down to practice and experimentation to learn what works and what doesn't and to achieve the result that you're looking for. Now we can also adjust the Wacom tablet properties in order to achieve a more varied line using the hard round brush. So this is especially good for comic book inking, which you generally want a good line weight. So in the Wacom tablet properties, just adjust the firmness of the tip feel, whether it's hard or soft, as well as the shape dynamics in size judo.